What is up everybody? Welcome to Alt Knots. I hope that you're having a super spooky day today on day number 11 of Halloween. If you haven't started to crochet something spooky yet or decorate a little bit, find some Halloween spooky yarn, now is the time. I have a caramel apple marshmallow latte today. Well, I just had two different roasts sitting out and I was like, hmm, I wonder if these would be good together. They're fantastic. MCT oil butter, blended it up, nice little frothy latte. It smells like fall in the yarn dungeon now. And it's raining outside right now, so a perfect day to talk about yarn, which is what I have here. I have some brand new yarn from Boss Kitty Yarn, AKA BK Yarn. These particular hanks of yarn, I went to the shop with a purpose. Like I knew I wanted this very specific hank of yarn. The other times I was just like browsing the shop, like this is a spooky one, and this is a slimy one. Oh, I love all of these, very witchy one, very Halloween, but these had a purpose. If you've been hanging out with me for a little while, you already know, but if this is your first time here, I am a huge huge fan of Coraline. Love the movie, love the book, love the accessories, love all the lines that are coming out this year. The makeup lines, the clothing lines, just like everything. Give me all the Coraline. So I feel like you know kind of where this is going already. Headed to the site because I had heard that BK Yarn had Coraline themed yarn. I'm gonna let that sink in and just like imagine how freaking excited I was on the computer, just like screaming internally, being like, if this is a Coraline, Coraline yarn, I'm just gonna lose it. And I totally did. What I was looking for was some Coraline yarn in sock weight form, and that's exactly what there was. Look at that! Oh my gosh! So excited! So if you know Coraline, if you've seen the movie or read the book, can you kind of guess what I wanted to do with these two particular hanks of yarn? So this is Coraline in kitty glitter, which means that there's a little bit of shimmer in the hank. Oh my gosh. As always, love the Boss Kitty logo. There is a little paw print that's punched out on this side, and there you can see the kitty glitter, so reminiscent of the Coraline star sweater that she has that the other mother, I'm assuming, knit for her. That's kind of how I like to play it out anyways. Knit the star sweater so that she would keep coming back. I mean, honestly, I would. If someone knit me a star sweater, I'd be like, all right, we're besties. Doing the squish test, it is so soft, like ridiculously soft. Fingering weight sock yarn, 75% superwash merino, 20% nylon, 5% sparkly Stellina. Oh my gosh. I really do not have that much sparkling yarn and it's a sparkle where you don't feel it. So it's not like a metallic strand that's really harsh, which is good because I'm very particular about my socks. If there is anything that like sensory wise, I don't like, I just won't wear those pair of socks. So I would be very, very sad if that's what it was, but this is it. And this is kind of, like I said, I have other Boss Kitty yarn that is sparkly right on the top here. There we go. Yeah, this one is sparkly as well. And they both very, very soft. Another thing about Boss Kitty yarn is if you've never ordered from them, when you get your very first hank of yarn, you must read the entire tag. Like the tag just has so many goodies on it. And then also it has every place that they're at. So bosskittylive.com, at Boss Kitty Instagram, like literally everything, I will link it all down below. They are also here on YouTube Mondays and Wednesdays. And I'll put the time down there too. And today, today they are having a live. So after we hang out live in the Yarn Dungeon, because I also go live on Wednesday, I normally just hop on over there and have a little bit of a chit chat. The live is so much fun too. It's like an interactive game show. It's super entertaining. Yarn so boss, you'll knit your pants. I mean, come on. It's just, it's so fantastic. Okay, so my full intentions were to crochet some socks from this because I am just kind of collecting all of the Coraline stuff and I felt like I needed a pair of Coraline socks. I just had not found that particular Coraline hank of yarn. There is no questioning. This is 100% Coraline sweater. Like this is the yarn that the other mother used to knit the entire star sweater. However, now that I'm holding it, I was kind of thinking a cowl. Well, let me show you this other one first, which is also kitty glitter. 
look at that. And this was what I was gonna use for the stars. So I was planning on doing it on the, maybe like make them high top socks or knee high socks. And the top of it, like the rib part has the stars and then the foot is the Coraline blue. Like a star cowl or a Coraline cowl. That is just too perfect of a name. Oh, I don't know now. Okay, we need to vote. Socks, cowl, would you make socks? in order to be cozy and cuddly while watching Coraline or a Coraline star cowl to go out and about in the world. And this goes without saying, but if you've never seen Coraline and you love claymation and kind of spooky stuff, not super scary, just a little spooky, please watch Coraline. Like put it on your list for this month, today, this weekend, like the sooner the better. I love this movie. The name of this one is Mithril. So this actually isn't designed to be a Coraline color to go along with it, but I just, I mean, it just looked perfect. I know that the stars on the sweater are actually white, but I felt like these colors just, I don't know. I felt like they went, so we're going that direction. Mithril, is there anything else? As always, hand wash if possible. It is hand dyed pieces of art, absolutely hand wash. Lay flat to dry, don't iron it just take care of them, you know? It would just be so cozy as a cowl. I'm just on a crochet sock kick. I have that pattern that, that just came out and so I've kind of just been rolling with that. I don't know how many pairs of socks at this moment, but I don't get tired of it. Like, it's just so fun. At the end of the night, that's kind of been what I've been working on are different pairs of socks. I have a bunch of the Hocus Pocus yarn that I've been doing in socks and some neon green, some slimy ones. Oh, I do need to mention they have a giveaway that's going on their site all month long, Boss Kitty. It is a giveaway for these gorgeous witchy yarn. Five hanks of yarn, and you can get in it by going to their site and any live that has already happened, comment something down below. What they're working up, like all of the things, just go ahead and comment or be like, hi, oh my gosh, I love your yarn, I love your slogan, like anything and everything, that's it. All you need to do is comment and then you're into the giveaway. And they are having a Halloween party, so they are gonna announce the winner of all five hanks of yarn during their Halloween party. Boss Kitty seems to be a huge fan of Halloween, obviously. So I would imagine costumes are highly encouraged. This witchy purple is just life for me. And I love their Halloween logos. They just spooked it up a little bit. I love it. It was pre-order. So the pre-orders are closed now. The only way that you can get your hands on this super spooky yarn is through the giveaway. Just gonna pull up the site right now to see if they have this of available or if it's sold out because there were two different variations of the Coraline. This one in the kitty glitter and then there was another one without glitter but that one was sold out at the time of me ordering it and now this one is sold out too. Okay so makes sense but the picture is still there so I'm not sure if this is a permanent color on their site or if it'll come back again maybe sometime. Let's let's hope for that. Let's hope it comes back because I know that I'm gonna want more of this. If I decide to do a cowl from this, I'm definitely gonna want more. Two hanks of yarn is more than plenty to make a cowl, but I do also wanna make a pair of socks. So I'll have to go back eventually. As if it comes back onto the site, I will go back and order more. There we go. I also have some catching up to do with my 31 day countdown yarn advent from the Spinning Spider. 10 to show you today. Keep in mind as you're seeing all these colors that I am gonna make something with all of them together. So if you have ideas of what you would like to see these in, shout it out. Otherwise, I was planning on doing a cowl. It's just that time of year, honestly, I love cowls. I wear them with every single outfit from like as soon as it gets to be 50 degrees and then continues to drop. Cowls are just my permanent accessory.
I've been saying it's the 11th day of Halloween, but no, it is the 12th. An entire day further into October than I thought it was. Okay, well, now that we are on the same page, happy day number 12 of Halloween. Just imagine that was at the beginning of the video. October 12th, moving on. All of these together, would it not be perfect for a cowl? I'm thinking something like maybe the moss stitch, something that really emphasizes every specific color. I love them, like every single one of them but this one. They didn't come with names and I'm not sure if they have names, but whatever this one is, I want an entire cardigan's worth of it. Slimy green and black, everything that I love in a yarn color. There is a lot of slimy green. Like we already have four mini hanks of slimy greens. This cowl is gonna be very, I wonder if these glow under UV too. Ooh, I bet they do. A lot of the spinning spider yarn that I get is reactive under UV light, so I would bet that these are as well. It is day 12, which means that I still have quite a few more of these to open since it is a 31 night countdown. I have this whole pack and half of this pack still. So if you wanna make sure that you see all the rest of them, don't forget to hit the notification bell. Subscribe, join the ghoul squad. Love to have you here for the entire spooky season and on. I mean, it's spooky season 24 seven here. So if you also like spooky stuff and spooky yarn, welcome to the yarn dungeon. Come hang out with us. So that is it for me today, ghouls. Don't forget, oh, no it is not. No, I have one more thing to mention. I don't even know how I forgot about this, but I am doing a crochet along this month. It is a super simple beginner friendly blanket that we are gonna be working up together as a ghoul squad so if you're interested in joining and crocheting with the rest of the ghoul squad everything is linked down below I have a free pattern for you you can click down below print it off have it on your tablet however you like to interact with patterns the pattern is on Ribbler but there is also a PDF so all of my patterns that are on Ribbler just for future reference. I prefer PDFs. I like having them on my tablet, but there is, Ribbler is interactive. You know, you can click on a line, it'll cross it out for you, it'll keep track of where you're at. But all of my patterns underneath the name of what it is, where this one is called Wolf Tooth Crochet Blanket, which I will show you why in a minute here. Right underneath that, it'll say Crochet PDF. Click on that and you can print that off. That way if you have a binder or something that you like to have them all together, collect, keep in one place, you can totally go ahead and do that. I still have two ends to weave in, but there are only two because I only used one color. So this is the Karen Spice Cakes in the color Ginger Snaps. I don't know what you think of when you think of Ginger Snaps, but I think of the movie Ginger Snaps, like the horror werewolf movie Ginger Snaps. We are gonna work this up together. And then at the end of it, October 21st, which is a Friday, 7 p.m. Central, come back to the Yarn Dungeon and the entire ghoul squad is gonna cuddle up in their brand new cozy blankets and watch Ginger Snaps together. It's one that I have to watch every year anyway. So we're going to do it together. If you've never seen the movie and you're interested in it, I have it linked down below. You can check out the trailer, see if it's something that you'd want to watch with the rest of the ghoul squad, or you can just go ahead and make the blanket and come hang out in the live. Either way works. This is a beginner friendly blanket because it's very repetitive. It is a one stitch repeat. Also, it makes for a great project while you're watching horror movies because you don't really have to pay attention. You can just fly through it. We will be using the Spike Stitch, which really helps to bring out the caramel colors, the rich ginger snap caramel coloring everywhere. If you have questions, come to the live at 7 p.m. Central tonight. Hang out in the Yarn Dungeon. Make sure you bring your favorite beverage. We'll have a little bit of a chit chat and see what everybody's color combo is that they're working on because you don't have to stick with this color. You can use whatever color that you want. Okay, I feel like that is officially everything for today. Thank you for hanging out with me in the Yarn Dungeon. Cheers, have a fantastically spooky rest of your day, and I will see you in my next video.